here she is. Get her for me, will you? She's washing her clothes. Look, just tell her it's me, okay? Okay. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, I got some more breaking news for Halloween Kills, the sequel to Halloween 2018. Now, I was so excited for Halloween 2018, and when it came out, boy, oh boy, did it deliver. It had that, that, that passionate filmmaking that David Gordon Green and Danny McBride and everybody who worked on that film just really delivered, bringing the whole nostalgia back. It felt like... A direct sequel to Halloween and it was a direct sequel and I love the fact that it wasn't canon with anything after Halloween nothing after ha Halloween 1978 and I, it was, I thought it was such a fantastic idea to go that route because they stated you know in, in their interviews they um, um oh my god Danny McBride that you know they didn't want to reboot Halloween because it's been done before let's go in a different direction let's make a you know a direct sequel after Halloween 1978 and boy oh boy did they deliver and when they announced that Halloween Kills was dropping and Halloween ends, I was like, holy shit, I cannot wait for these sequels. Now, just a couple of days ago, news broke out that um, Anthony Michael Hall was going to be um, starring in Halloween Kills as the adult version of Tommy Doyle. That surprised many fans, and I was like, holy shit, they're bringing back the original cast. Well, they're bringing back, you know, the, the, not the original cast, because Anthony Michael Hall didn't play Tommy Doyle, Tommy Doyle <clears throat> in that film, but he's coming back for that character. You know, Tommy Doyle, the actual character, is coming back to the franchise, which I'm extremely excited for. I can't wait to see what he's been going through, how, you know, he's been dealing with that post-dramatic stress of that, that night in 1978. <clears throat> so I'm excited to see him return. But that's not all. Kyle Richards is coming back to play Lindsay Wallace. She played Lindsay Wallace, the little girl that was with Tommy Doyle in the 1978 Halloween She's coming back to replace her role for Halloween Kills. I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm all with it. Like, they're bringing back all the characters. And that is so badass to me. Like, I wonder what their relationship is. Like, did Lori still keep in touch with Tommy and Lindsay? We don't know that. They weren't mentioned in Halloween 2018. But we're definitely going to get some more backstory in Halloween Kills. Like, are, 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 are Tommy and um, Lindsay together? Are they still really good friends? You know, do they still talk to each other because of that night? You get what I'm saying? Like, that's so so intriguing to me. And the crazy thing is, you know, I can't wait to see their initial reaction to, you know, oh my God, Michael's back. Like, holy fuck. Like, I, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see, you know, both of the reactions. But like, Michael came back to Haddonfield, Haddonfield 40 years later and he went after Jamie again. Or he went after Laurie Strode. Like, I cannot wait to see that reaction. And I want to see what, you know, Lindsay Wallace has been up to this entire time. Like, how that night affected her. You know, I'm so intrigued by them bringing back all these original characters. I think it's badass, and it's a good idea, and I cannot wait, you guys. If we're at it, man, bring back uh, Sheriff Brackett. We're at it. Come on. You know, let him get some revenge for, you know, his daughter, Annie. I can't wait to see this, you guys. I'm so thrilled for Halloween Kills. And Halloween ends. It's going to be some good stuff, you guys, and I can't wait. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about returning characters. Tommy Doyle and Lindsay Wallace returning to Halloween Kills. Post your comments down below, you guys, and thank you for taking time today for watching SeaWorld Productions. Peace.